Welcome back to my channel, guys. How are you today? I hope you guys are doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. My name is Durga Diana. For those that are new, welcome. I am your tarot card reader. You are watching Empathic Moon 777. We are a divination and metaphysical shop. And um, I want to welcome you to this Twin Flame reading. So this is going to be the in-depth tarot reading for the Twin Flame Collective associated with our channel. So if you identify in a Twin Flame connection or um, have this Twin Flame energy as a part of your journey, all right, you could be a Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. All right, this is coming through for the collective today. We're going to look at the whole parts of the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine relating to each other today. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Follow your intuition and take the energies how they apply in your reality. And if you want a personal reading, I do offer that. You can check it out at check out the readings at empathicmoon777.com. This reading that you see here is called the Twin Flames In-Depth Tarot Reading. All right. So I just wanted to let you know about that. We have Instagram and we also have TikTok. We also have Etsy. So be sure to follow, follow us there if you are interested. And um, we're going to get started. All right, guys. So hello. I hope you guys had a good weekend and enjoying your spring so far here in the Northern Hemisphere. I just wanted to show you a beautiful gift that I got today. Um, this... I got another bracelet here, but this one came from my dad. So my dad gave gifted me this beautiful uh, bangle. So I just wanted to share that. Uh, I've been receiving a lot of beautiful gifts lately. Um, yeah, and I'm very, very greatly grateful. I want to show you guys the other gift that I got here. <laughs> it's quite amazing. So remember I told you I made a shell, I showed you my shell that I made? Look at this. This is a, a bag made from a turtle shell. So yeah, look at that. It's so, it's so, this turtle shell is really huge, you can see. Um, but I got this too this weekend. Um, so very, feeling very blessed this weekend. Um, the energy has been very powerful this weekend for me um so i'm really grateful you know um change can happen change happens if you believe it you stay consistent with it oh my goodness oh it's so beautiful all right so re last time the reading was about the fortune of the reading was that there was going to be some kind of connecting with um, friends or uh, some kind of loyalty with friends all right there was going to be it was in, t in connection to some kind of deception or sneakiness all right so we're going to see what's coming in for this week for our collective let's see what the divine masculine's main energy towards divine feminine is right now for the collective Angels, lovers, and spirit for the Twin Flame Collective. Followers and subscribers. Followers and subscribers. Um, followers and subscribers. Angels, lovers, and spirit. Empathic Moon 777. The collective that we are helping for the highest good. Please assist for the highest good. Divine masculine is mean energy towards divine feminine that you can share. Thank you. So we have the energy of co-create, divine masculine's mean energy. Um, so the bottom here is fates, all right? So there's an energy here about it's about um, the space. It's about the space, and in that space, co-creation can occur. All right, so he's in an energy of co-creating. I want to show you this. There's a co-creation. There's two 
beings here. There's the cheetah and then there's the owl. They're both working together. All right, so there could be some kind of co-creation taking place. It could be between uh, the divine masculine and divine feminine working together to co-create. Or there's some kind of co-creation happening with somebody or this could be with spirit. All right. And it's having to do with the fates, which is just, which is how I'm perceiving this, is an energy of space, the expansive space, the universe, all right? So what is Divine Feminine's main energy towards Divine Masculine that you could share for the highest good? Okay, we're going to say in connection to the Divine Masculine. Okay, so we have a change in the wind. So her main energy may be about um, like there's some kind of change, some kind of current coming through um, and that change, there's a wind coming and like you, you don't have control of the wind, right? So it's like there's something changing with this wind coming is what I feel is what this is. It's having to do with thinking. It has to do with thoughts. So in relation to thoughts, her main energy is like um, going through the wind, however way the wind blows. Like, um, but this wind is, is, is bringing in change. All right, so she may be wanting to bring in that change. This is some kind of thoughts or this is in relation to um, going in a cer certain direction that is is that's bringing change like it's different all right um, I'm gonna see this picture here there is <clears throat> there's something different here all right there's something unique um with the zebra all right the wind is going but i really feel like it all depends on this person right here where they want to go all right they can go against the wind or they can go with the wind as well, okay? Um, if they go a certain way though, the wind might be a little bit uh, harder to go through. All right, there's some additional messages here that I'm getting. Um, and these are probably all connected to the thoughts because we have the bottom of the deck here, the thinker. So these might be all of the things that she might be thinking about going through right now. This is her main energy, all right? Thinking about this change in the wind. So that's what I have there. Um, I'm gonna leave this as the bottom here, this thinker, because this thinker could also be, no, I'm not gonna take it off actually. I'm gonna leave it like that, okay. So uh, let's get more about this uh, co-create and I'm going to use the Twin Flame Oracle. Please do leave a like to this reading, guys. Um, okay, can I, can I get another energy for this co-create for Divine Masculine? Thank you. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. Okay, so there's an energy here about co-creating, but there's also an energy here about <clears throat> that it's taking its time or it needs time. It's, it's, this co-creation is taking time or this co-creation needs time. And there's also this intention here of not giving up. So 
there's an intention here about not giving up for divine feminine to not give up there is this co-creation here occurring okay and then a change in the wind Like this manifestation is going to take some time for it. To, like the, the intention setting, the intention and the manifestation of it will take some time. Please don't give up on me. Yes, I'm trying to co-create with you. Or yes, I'm trying to co-create with the divine. That's what I'm getting. Um, a change in the wind here is being mirrors for each other makes self-love so important. I wish I was there to love you, but if I'm not, I want you to love and nurture yourself. So <clears throat> there is definitely um, like what I feel like with this change as well, it's connected to the fact that uh, no matter what, loving e yourself is number one. All right. And even though these changes may be occurring, um, that when it comes down to it, I want you to love yourself, right? And that's what you really want, you know, for, for yourself. And that's what your divine counterpart wants for you too. Completely and just truly loving yourself. And this is in a way where you have to stand up for yourself in a way where the divine masculine, even though it might feel, let's say, for instance, um, you think maybe, maybe perhaps the divine masculine would um, feel bad. No, the divine masculine wants you to nurture and love yourself through the separation, all right? And that's... Um, Maybe something also too for Divine Feminines that this may be a part of the change as well. Uh, so the bottom here we have, I miss you, let's both stop running away. So this is in relation to this running aspect from each other, running from the connection, um, feeling afraid. Um, listening to the ego um, this is in connection to that okay when it comes to stopping the 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 running away this is what your energies are main energies are towards each other okay divine feminine says through the changes you know I want you to love yourself and um, me love me and divine masculine is saying I'm trying to co-create here. Please don't give up. You know, this is going to take some time. All right. So it's a very beautiful energy here as the main energy here coming through. Um, I'm just going to get one more energy here with this co-create. All right. Co-create. What is this co-create energy? Tell, tell me more, please. There's the Four of Pentacles here. <clears throat> so this is something to do with holding on to something very tightly, like not able to let go, all right? So this is what, this is something, you know, you're holding on to something, right? You don't want to let it go, all right? This could be something material, something in the material world. And... um. This could be something that has been there for a long time, okay? And so it will take time for this to, whatever this represents for the Divine Masculine to let go, to start to get into this co-creation is what I'm getting. It's going to take time for that, this rigid energy, something that's stubborn, all right? So that's what's coming through here. We have the bottom of the deck healing. It's about healing here. 
So there's, um, this is going to take time. All right. Um, let's see here. This, a change in the wind. A change in the wind. Oh, goodness gracious. This is the first card that came out. So this is something that is... I want to say repressed. Um, this is something that maybe something internally. This is also something about breaking free even from this toxicity. It's kind of similar to this Four of Pentacles here. This this seems to be um, connected to the Earth in some way. Something that's been there for a long time. This seems like it's something connected to... Uh, it could be connected to different like relationships. It could be connected to relationships. Um, This could be about uh, maybe something that's karmic in nature. I'm getting along something that has been like there for a while too. Kind of like this energy here, but this one seems to be connected to other people. and how the importance of loving self is important to that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, we're gonna go into the head, heart, and environment uh, at this time. Oh, this one came out here, self-discipline came out. All right, so there's something here with this connection about becoming more strong in the self. And the self-discipline could be connected to many different aspects of the self. Uh, the bottom is a completion here. So the, a, a completion in connection to becoming more strong in the self. Um, being balanced in the masculine and feminine within the self. That's what I feel like what this is. Okay. All right, so that's that got pretty deep just for a couple of cards here. Um, let's go into the head, heart, and environment now. So for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So Angels, Hoppers, and Spirit, Divine Masculine, Head, Heart, Environment, and Spiritually, and Divine Feminine as well. Please and thank you. Can you tap into that for the main energies? What's coming through today for the highest good? What is Divine Masculine's mean? The energy of his thoughts. Mean energy of his thoughts that you can share. Thank you. Here and now. Okay. Divine Masculine's mean energy in his heart. Serendipity came out here. Um, I'm actually going to uh, redo this because I have to relate it to Divine Feminine here. These cards want to talk though. They're coming out. So Angels, Helpers, and Spirit, thank you so much. I'm going to relate uh, Divine Masculine's reading towards Divine Feminine. So what is Divine Masculine's energy of his thoughts that you can share relating to Divine Feminine in the collective? What's his thoughts? Towards Divine Feminine, mean thoughts that you can share. Okay, all that glitters. Okay, Divine Feminines towards Divine Masculine, thoughts. That one fell down. Okay, can 
community. Okay, Divine Masculine's energy in his heart. Mean energy in the heart towards the Divine Feminine. Enchanting gifts. Okay, Divine Feminine's heart space towards Divine Masculine. Thank you. TikTok. Okay. And then environment, main energy in his environment relating to divine feminine, divine masculine, relating to divine feminine. And divine feminine relating to divine masculine in the environment. Thank you. Divine masculine values and beliefs, mean energy. Values and beliefs spiritually towards divine feminine. Thank you. And what is divine feminine's main energy of her values? Beliefs towards divine masculine. Spiritually. Thank you. Never ending story is the bottom here. Okay, so I am going to get clarifiers before I start talking. Uh, can you tell me more about this all that glitters? Enchanting gifts. Peace. Building blocks. Community. TikTok. the sea by the book eight of cups reversed okay and this uh queen of wands all that glitters what is this about Queen of Pentacles, all that glitters. What is this about? Knight of Pentacles, exchanging gifts. Three of Cups, peace. High Priestess Building Blocks. Death and Community. Six of Wands, TikTok. Seven of Wands, To the Sea. Thank you. Wheel of Fortune and By the Book. Thank you. Okay, we have Time Out. 
and I'm gonna get another, use the Twin Flame Oracle here. Synchronicity about what? Synchronicity connected to what? Synchronicity connected to environment. What about the environment? What aspect of the environment? Okay, change. What kind of change? Music. Financial discipline. Love. Love partnership. Love partnership. Thanks and patience. Patience, thank you. Okay, bottom here, I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. Okay. So this reading is going to be in connection to the triggering in relation to leaving, but uh, it could be like connected to um, like, like you're going and doing your thing. I mentioned that over here. Um, yeah, it could be connected to, you know, doing your own thing and then that energy, you don't feel the your person's energy. And then it might create fears, like you're not gonna see this person again, that kind of energy, all right? There is a timeout, so there's some kind of pause in the connection, it's in relation to the pause. It's in relation to feeling the pull, all right? Feeling the pulling away and how it's causing triggers. Um, it's a never ending story, all right? This never ending story might be, you know, going on and on about yes and no about love, right? And there's this time that's been going on. It's a never ending story or feeling. It's a feeling like that. That's what the energy is. And because of that, it's like needing to walk away from, from those things in your life you thought were serving you, but it's not. And it's time to walk away and um you know taking some type of break or taking some type of time out and um feeling triggered by us uh, you know feeling the pull like you're not feeling the energy anymore feeling the uh, a pull a pulling away okay so we're going to see what the energy is, is like in connection to this here. We're going to see what's happening, all right? So this is what Spirit is sharing for, for us uh, in the collective. So thank you so much, Spirit, for that. Um, okay, so we have here all that glitters and then P Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like what this is, is like, this is like the Divine Feminine in her beauty and abundance and glittering, right? There's a lot of like shiny stuff here. Um, and that could be connected to this, like going towards this, right? And um, before I get into that, this is in the thoughts here. We have synchronicity and past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes and that makes me afraid. I need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom, all right? So <clears throat> there is some kind of triggering here that may be connected. This might be um, something that's consciously aware, but there is some kind of synchronicity. I feel like Divine Masculine is aware of, um, and there is an awareness of, of needing to heal, like whatever kind of grief or what kind of... Um, uh, some kind of um, it's a feeling like a doom kind of feeling it's not a it's a grief it's maybe stress um, and uh, <clears throat> this could be 
the divine feminine shining, you know, being in her glory in the physical, it could be connected to that. Um, so this, I feel like this is like, um, this is like a thought of divine feminine right now. She's going to go in her life, right? And do her own thing. She's going to be shining, right? She's going to be um she's shining she's beautiful she's magnetic she's attracting all of this beautiful things in her life she's abundant she's secure and she's stable right and that is it's it's bringing up triggers because there is something from the past connected because there is a, some kind of feeling that divine masculine is getting that um because he lost you before right? So it's bringing some type of um, anxiety or something, fears, it's triggering him, all right? But he knows that he needs to heal from this. There's synchronicities happening here for him at this time, all right? And this may be, this is what's going on in his headspace, okay? That's what I have. And then in the heart center, we have is <clears throat> we have here exchanging gifts, and then we have Knight of Pentacles. All right. So in the heart center here, there is an energy about taking some type of um, taking things like step by step I feel like what this is it's like doing something to contribute to an energy exchange but this energy exchange is something that is good like when you receive a gift right it's something that's positive it's something that feels good so this energy exchange can happen in many different ways this could be maybe a message, this could be um, maybe an actual gift, right? Um, somehow, like this energy exchange here of gifts, all right? However way it comes, right? Um, there is an energy about utilizing this gift exchange as a consistent practice towards making a solid offer, all right? That's what's um, the feeling in the heart center, all right? Because we have here the environment and then we have, I'm walking home to you. I'm not sure where I'm on the path, but I'm walking it. So despite, you know, the unknown, right, walking, divine masculine walking despite this unknown and what is to occur in the environment, because this is what's going on in the environment. It's he's going on this journey, not knowing where he's going. This is what is occurring in the environment. But because of that, in his heart, it's telling him that he wants to make a contribution day by day, whatever it is, this energy exchange of something, some kind of gift, all right, something that is good, something that can be mutually exchanged between the both of you, that is something that is positive, all right, because we have this um, time out here, okay? We have this um, separation, okay? We do have this uh, 3D separation, although you guys are always in union, always. Separation is an illusion. All right, so in the environment now, peace and three of cups. Okay, so in the physical, there is an energy of wanting to have peace. And this peace is like just feeling balanced, feeling, you know, not disturbed, you know, just being 
comfortable with where where you are being comfortable with where you are at being at peace but it's in relation to other people third parties could be um, third party connections and it also can represent like some kind of getting together and some type of gatherings all right so um Some of you, not everyone here, may be um, connecting, you know, in that kind of way um, through some kind of gathering, all right? Um, some kind of party even or some kind of get getting together, all right? There is an energy here of wanting to have peace, all right? In the heart center, there's this energy of wanting to make a contribution here. So there may be for some here, some kind of connection here, all right? Um, for some, there is, um, there could be some type of communication, all right? Um, so peace and three of cups, we're going to see what this is. It's about change. And it says here, when I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. <clears throat> so what I get from this um, now is basically what I feel like what this is, is that despite this energy right what this energy when it comes to if it comes to gatherings or coming together or if this represents like third party connections all right um there is an energy of wanting to have peace like no matter uh who and what is happening all right um So if you guys are somehow get getting together in some way that there's peace there. And this is happening in the environment. Because There has been a change in there has a been there has been a change or there has been um a deeper understanding of this connection, uh this heart based connection. Can you please clarify the change? There's been an energy of making choices from love. This is the change. Making choices from a place of love. Um, being completely naked in the sense where you are, you have nothing to hide. Being completely naked is having nothing to hide. The archangel is there watching. You're completely in your authenticity. You are your true self. There's nothing to hide. Making choices from love. Making choices from love as being a person that has nothing to hide being your true self this has deepened or opened up the heart chakra 
to bring peace with this energy here. Because maybe this was causing triggering. This is, it's bringing peace to this energy. That's what I get from that. Okay, that's the main energy there. Okay. Uh, so values and beliefs now. We have building blocks and then we have high priestess. So the values and beliefs here for divine masculine this one is a lot easier here, is that he believes or he values that I need to use my intuition. I need to know my, I need to follow my intuition, my inner knowing uh, for the next steps, for the building blocks, how to take the next steps. Okay, so that's pretty pretty awesome there. It's step by step. We have that here, Knight of Pentacles. This is kind of like that energy building blocks. I want to use my intuition for the steps, the next steps. And it's about frequency. It's about music. It's about bringing about this music connected to we are gods and goddesses. We are light we are light beings. We are light and love. We are embodying that energy. So embodying that frequency of that, that consciousness of light and love, knowing that you are light and love, that we are all light and love. What are the next steps towards that? So that's his values and beliefs. So this is a very... This is an awakened masculine, you know what I mean? Definitely, you know? Okay, so... Divine Feminine. So this is in connection to that energy of pulling away. It seems like Divine Masculine has a really good whole handle on things here when it comes to this energy of the pulling away. That's what I feel. All right, so community, and then we have death card for divine feminine in the thoughts. So in relation to that, um, in the thoughts, we have this community here, like this is kind of like community, this is like gathering, right? And, um, you know, getting together and things like that. Um, you have community which is similar I'm getting the same kind of vibes here this is transformation all right there, in the environment there's peace here but there's transformation here it's connected to people it's connected to the community and it's connected to um, there's some kind of issue here there's something related to money matters and you think I'm not listening to you, uh, but I am. So it could be connected to this here. This all that glitters and the queen of pentacles here. This could be connected to that financial discipline. Uh, because it says here, you think I'm not listening to you, but I am. And I hear everything you say, even uh, replay our conversations in, in my head. And it's, it's connected to, I feel like what this is, is that going in this direction of transforming this community energy, you know, it's not, you know, yeah, it's connected to this, right? It's connected to abundance and it's connected to um, money, but it's not just about money. It's about the transformation of the community. And um, there's also this aspect here that, yes, you know, I am, I am listening to you, all right? Because in the headspace here, there was this fear here, right, that he had that I'm going to lose you. 
But Divine Feminine is saying, no, you know, I am listening to you, my love, you know. And so this, this financial discipline with Divine Feminine, maybe this is where she's going. It's causing a trigger, but he wants to heal that, right? Um, and he knows that he needs to heal it. Um, and Divine Feminine is saying that, you know, I... I'm going towards this community energy here. Um, it's not just about this money. It's about everything, the whole, everybody. Okay? So that's what I feel like what that is. And um, in the heart here, we have TikTok. There's something in the heart with TikTok. And it's related to some kind of personal goals here. Something intrinsic, something personal, something internal. And there's something in the hearts. It There's time is ticking with this personal goal. And it's related to love. Number six here. There's a lot of blue. And it's connected to... I dream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. So there is a strong connection here with the love. And there's this connection and the expression of that love. Um, there is some fantasy type of aspect to this. And there is uh, there is a personal goal here. Uh, where time is running out in connection to that. So let's see what this uh, Six of Wands is. <clears throat> what is this uh, Six of Wands about? Angels, helpers, and spirit. Can you tell us more about the Six of Wands? There's love and I de daydream about you. Can you tell us more about the Six of Wands? Okay, so this uh, personal goals here is having to do with um, it's something that's emotional. Um, it could be this is like a dreamy type of energy too, but this could be this could be wondering. If something that is being given is true or not, This could be like some kind of like, um, it could be like something like a romantic kind of energy. Something uh, has been given like kind of like a, a romantic nature or like a flirty type of energy. And it's wondering like if this is something that is... If I should take this, if I should accept this, or is this something that is like a joke, like a fish in a cup kind of thing? So there's a personal goal in connection to this. I'm going to get one more card for this Page of Cups. Tell us more about this Page of Cups, Six of Wands energy. Page of Cups. Thank you. The soul connection here. <clears throat> so 
So I feel like it's about accepting something, right? Whether or not to accept something. Um, whatever that acceptance is, right? Whether or not, you know, to accept it. There's a goal there in relation to that. Uh, this could be about <clears throat> like thoughts of the past. <clears throat> um, it could be about thoughts relating to the past. It could be related to the soul connection. Um, it could be about a return. All right. So it's about accepting something in connection to this, however way it resonates. But there's a there's a personal goal there. Whether or not to accept this page. I'm going to get one more card here, okay? <clears throat> Okay, what is the goal of this Page of Cups and this uh, Six of Cups? What is the goal of this Page of Cups and Six of Cups? What is the goal of this Page of Cups, Six of Cups? Okay. Okay, one more hangman reversed. Yeah, so there's something causing like burden here. There's something like it's causing um it's causing a lot um like there is um maybe something stagnant um i feel like it's wanting to come out of that energy all right i really do feel like it's coming out of that energy um, yeah, let's see. The hangman usually is about sacrificing yourself, but it's in the reversed. So there's something there. Um, and this is in connection to the heart here. All right. There seems to be like, I don't know, like a lot of emotional energy here in the heart center, but it just seems like there's there's something It's causing some type of burden here. Yeah. Um, can I get one more card here for the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands in reversed. Mm -mm. A 
Okay. It's in relation to either like the divine masculine in worry or in grief because there's a feminine there wanting to bring in a cup towards this masculine that's focused on um, these three cups. It could this three, these cups could represent other people. Um, other things. So here's the three of cups here. There's three cups here. There may be some kind of stress there. Um, there's a feminine here coming in to bring a cup towards this person that's not feeling very good. There's a personal goal in relation to this energy here. It's re related to an emotional ge gesture towards the connection. I feel like this is kind of like what this is here. <clears throat> it's causing burden, all right? Uh, there is this aspect of love and there is this aspect of desire. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then that's in the heart. That one took a little bit longer. But we're going to go through the next one here. In the environment, we have go to see. So there is um, a current taking this feminine... Um, onto she's on the boat here this fairy's on the boat and she's going you know, like she's moving she's going on her uh journey here and spirit is there with her all right even though she there is an energy of maybe some type of sadness or maybe some type of loss but she's still going right spirit is there though uh there is some kind of guarded energy here all right coming through in relation to this going to see and there is a love partnership here so it's connected to a love partnership all right it's connected to I wish I could say what I really feel someday I will but right now I'm afraid to be myself all right so this is in relation to a uh, relationship I feel and inside of this relationship, there is, um, because of this relationship, there is not, um, somebody cannot be their, their true selves, all right? They can't um, say what they mean, all right? And um, this is causing a little bit of guard, all right, in the environment, moving, all right? going and moving forward all right that's what i feel like what this is about okay and then spiritually here we have the wheel of fortune and by the book so divine feminine's values and beliefs all right is to go by the book all right it might be having to go by some kind of um, tradition it could be something connected to uh, her family lineage, um, maybe connected to her soul tribe. Um, this could be connected to family or ancestral, all right? Um, there's some kind of customary law, maybe, or something that um, is by the book, all right? And there's the Wheel of Fortune here. So... I do feel like Divine Feminine is in the energy, like her values and beliefs is 
that good things are going to happen through following the book, all right? And however way that book resonates for you, um, it's connected to having the patience through the journey. And uh, I think you're beautiful inside and out. I see the light that radiates from your soul. And it's that knowing that, um, you know, divine masculine yourself are beings of light. And um, through that knowing, just being patient and following this book of rules or tradition or however way that's how that wheel of fortune is going to happen and that's what her value and belief is in the collective the main energy um towards the divine masculine all right so very interesting energies coming through because it's so interesting here because in the heart center this is kind of connecting uh, in the heart here divine masculine wants to give something daily as an energy exchange towards divine feminine and then in her heart center she's wondering if she should accept this emotional offer you know um so it it just seems like they're uh seem to be um kind of in sync in a lot of different ways it's so interesting and um there's this uh let's see if this one is syncing up pretty good here let's see um there's this energy of peace with this third party here but because there's this love deepening and then for Divine Feminine, there's a little bit, it seems to be a little bit of guarded. So, yeah, there's a little bit of guardedness there um, with this love partnership. Divine Masculine is working to, with the light here. And Divine Feminine here is a little bit guarded about this. Um, spiritually, he's using his intuition for remembering that everyone is light. And then Divine Feminine is wanting to follow, um go by some kind of book when it comes to this connection so it's interesting um the head and the heart seems to be um pretty in sync here in 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 a lot of different ways it's interesting the energy coming through today all right so um let's get some messages for each other and then we'll close the reading off wow I'll get a guidance as well for for the con for the connect. Please do leave a like to this reading, guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So divine masculine's um, most significant energies towards divine feminine from this deck. Two cards. Thank you. Thank you. And Divine um, Feminine's most significant energies towards Divine Masculine from this deck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Divine Feminine's most significant energies is um, towards Divine Masculine is seeking some type of pleasure and the game of love. So I just, I feel like what this is, is there is, um, you know, there is a desire to express 
or there is a desire to look towards having pleasure with Divine Masculine, but there's also this energy of having to work with this game of love. Like it's not like a straight path. It's kind of like, um, you know, needing to make the right moves, you know, to get to the finish line. All right. Um, Divine Masculine here has longing and desiring and taking the plunge. So I feel like what this is, is that there is a longing and desiring for Divine Feminine. Um, and he will go to the depths to, in terms of his emotions, to um, uncover um, more about himself or relating to the connection or divine feminine okay and then we're going to get some guidance for the divine masculine divine masculine guidance so we have here forgiveness archangel zadgil all right so this forgiveness here may have to be about there is forgiveness here that I feel could be connected to the healing of the grief, connected to the triggers, um, to losing each other, or this could be forgiveness of himself, right? Um, maybe there needs, uh, this forgiveness could also be connected to forgiving the divine feminine. If it feels like divine feminine is pulling away, um, either way, there is a call for the divine masculine to, um, lovingly release anywhere there has been some type of hurt connected to people, connected to the Divine Feminine, um, even connected to the child aspect um, to forgive and forgive self as well. So this is really being highlighted for the Divine Masculine at this time. Anyone that has hurt the Divine Masculine um, it needs to be lovingly released and divine masculine needs to love those people to lovingly let go and to be free and that will transform uh, his um, reality it will free things up for him. Okay, so that's what I have. And then Divine Feminine's Guidance. Clear and Shield. White Light. So there is a lot of energy here for Divine Feminine to protect herself. All right. So protection is being called right now very, very strongly towards Divine Feminine. And this could be that other energies are affecting her. And... This is also a message here to always white light yourself. If you're not feeling good, put a shield, ask Spirit to put a shield around you. Get some of that, of that protection 
utilize the light to help to clear your mind, clear your space, help you feel more aligned, help you to feel more grounded. This is being called right now. Um, so this is being highlighted. So this is what is needing to occur very strongly for Divine Feminine. All right. And the bottom is here is about breathing and grounding. Archangel Michael. All right. So it's it's about breathing for forgiveness and breathing of the light in this case it's for shielding in this case it's to set um set self and set others free so that both can become more grounded Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. And um, thank you so much. Please do leave a like to this reading. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much and all the best.